there's a head catch and a fuel trailer and a whatever. Oh, that's a mower. Really nice mower. Falls. Let's go make videos about tractors at a giant farm show and dream about like buying them for our farms, but nobody actually has that kind of money. So Brandon, what are you looking forward to most about the Maggie Farm Show? I'll tell you Riley, one thing I like about these shows is the smell of new equipment. You go in there, you just sit in the cabin, it's so fresh and clean, and it just makes you not appreciate your equipment anymore, which isn't good, but that's beside the point. Basically, it's just people trying to get you to buy things. Yeah, that's literally what it is. So They even have drawings sometimes where you just sign your name and put it in the drawing, and sometimes you can win cool equipment like a ATV or a side-by-side -side or something like that. Enter to win a $600 Tyrama card. Well, considering I have a really bad habit of punching holes in my tire, this is not a bad idea. Let's sign up. What are you looking forward to most with this egg show? I haven't been in a couple of years, so it's gonna be good to come back. I'm hoping to run into some familiar faces there as well. I really wanna bring you guys with, because I want you to see how, I mean, most of you have probably been to a farm show before in your life, if you have come from an egg background, but. Let's compare, let's see if it's different here in Montana, if it's pretty much the same thing. And let's see what's out there for new equipment. We're gonna go inside in just a minute, but I really hope this thing's framed somewhat decently. I might be out of frame. If my head's cut off, I'm sorry. Alright guys, we're in. I'm just gonna walk through the whole thing to get a feel for it, see what's here. Yeah. And then we'll go back and maybe talk to some reps. Costco's the best. Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. You know what? We gotta go inside. I was literally thinking. We have to. So, this is the Agco Challenger. I just wanted to see what this cab's like. One thing I noticed about this is a steering wheel. It has your media controls here. Super handy for when you're using your auto steer and not touching the steering wheel. This is cool, I wish I could I, afford it. Obviously. Too bad, too bad it doesn't have a key. We can't turn it on and drive it around. Take it for a little test drive, you know? The key to these conventions is that you gotta keep yourself well nourished. The key to energy, chocolate. He got all the candy, it's my turn. I really think Welkers need to get rid of their big butts and go to these guys, because these guys have about twice the power, actually, of even the big butt 747. Their fuel tanks are much smaller, so that means they're much more fuel efficient, because that's how things work. I think he can seed with this guy, and then run his 1,000 plus bushel grain cart that he hasn't bought yet with this guy. Let's see it, Nick. You're 30 days out. Over here, camera. Oh, we're being paged. Oh, you're being paged. What channel is this? What channel is this? This is actually YouTube, so it's not the TV news necessarily. But. Don't worry. <laughs> I know your grandpa really well. How are you guys doing? Good, good. How's the business? Oh, it's been going well. This is my friend Brendan. He's behind the camera right now. But. Okay, just remember one thing, Brendan. Think chickpeas and canola. Both of them are nice rotation crops, and uh, they're going to be a big factor in the 2019 growing season. Keep that in mind. 
I'll let my dad know. Yeah, well, roll the tape, sir. That's part of the <laughs> Oh, it's rolling. Okay, I love it. What's going on with solar panel technology these days and how would it benefit an agricultural operation? It's the most efficient it's ever been. It's come down in price about 80% over the last decade or two. Why are we interested in this and agriculture? Great question. If you work in ag, then you know that there's all, you have a big power bill for a variety of different things. So our goal is to hook those operations up with solar to offset those power costs. Awesome, yeah. well thank you very much. Thank you. Good luck with the, the channel. I want to yeah, yeah, check out the YouTube channel. Actually, we got a card for you. It's called Agri Studio. Where did I... Oh, we left our bag of stuff over at the tractor, didn't we? Well... I always do this. I want to see what this Max Ag booth is because it looks like a precision platform. So we kind of want to talk to this rep, I think. What is Max Ag exactly? We do uh, agronomy work, consulting, soil sampling, um, fertilizer recommendations. So you guys basically take GPS data out of combines and mm -hmm. put it onto something that's actually user friendly and all that? Mm -hmm. Yep, we are farmers. That's what four farmers buy farmers needs. Gotcha. We are, everybody on my entire crew are farm kids at some point, much like yourself. So. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, thank you. Yep. This is a Trimble system. If you had a conventional steering wheel, for example, you're running a big bud tractor but want to get this technology into that older system, then you have this guy that'll just basically slide right up against the wheel. This motor turns the wheel for you so that you have GPS capability on any machine that has a steering wheel. You can figure it all through this monitor. All right. We'll do it in cab view too. Oh yeah, so visibility, nice, very quiet, cool. I like the signs that they put up all over this thing. Oh, 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 we won't turn it on, but it has a key. We could just drive this away right now. You think anybody would mind? Can we go take it for a test drive? I would not do that. Oh, yeah, this is like a CNC plasma cutter. CNC interface with a plasma cutter, so uh, you can also use it for routing and engraving and all that tapping and drilling and stuff like that, so. Brendan's completely sold. He's gonna buy one now. What you guys doing? Uh, we are filming you guys filming us. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> oh, yeah, here we can even make it a little better, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I wanna sit in this slother. They've outsmarted me. Look at this. Look how professional we understand things, guys. So these are disc cutters. And they work better than the sickle bar cutters for when you're working in mud. And they just cut the hay way better and you get a better row. We had a rotary pull behind and we sold it for a self-propelled. But the self-propelled, unfortunately, is not rotary for us. As much as we'd love to jump into something like this, it's just not in our budget right now. That's the thing about these farm shows, there's lots of nice new stuff to look at, but unfortunately, it's not, doesn't mean you can buy it all because contrary to popular belief, farmers are not rich. Actually, they have one of the most stressful cash flows that I can think about in any industry. Yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Riley. Got these drums here, so why are people like switching over to this in their headers? All right, the turbo drum is a aftermarket replacement drum for Case, Honeybee, Macdon, and Deer headers. And the reason folks are going to them are the pulse crops. The pulse crops in Montana are becoming much more prevalent. They're bushy, high volume, and they need more clearance under the header to get into the feeder house. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Almost 
forgot. need to increase your lawn mowing power? Well, you can with the Black Hawk. I don't know the model number. Okay, let's leave. You know, I think that other lawn mower brand is gonna be out of business because this one's orange and obviously that makes it better. It's a bad one. Look, look at this. They even include a key. I'm pretty hungry actually. And I'm sure Brendan is as well, hauling around that camera. Luckily we got some lunch right here from Western Ranch Supply. So help yourself. I found more lawn mowers. So out of the three, which one's your favorite? This one. Okay, let's go. So this is what we do for fun. We live in Bozeman and we don't ski. So there's that. Instead we go to Great Falls of all places and look at swathers and sprayers and augers and sheds and snow. That thing just looks fierce with those tires. Those are insane. This is a grain vacuum. So in our grain bins, which are not super fancy ones that are hopper bottoms, we use suction power to suck the rest of the grain out of the bottom of the bin. I believe there will be videos on how these things work in the future. Oh man, it's awkward to climb combine ladders with only one hand. I think Brendan's gonna be in charge now. You short of tools? Come to the Maggie Show. They literally have almost anything or everything you can want. Vice grips, they got it. Flashlights, they got it. These things are super handy. On the back, they have a magnet. You can put nuts, bolts, screws, whatever is metal, so you don't lose it when you're working. What's also handy, you can stick it on the side and put a soda can in there. It doesn't fall. You can drink soda on the job. Quick tips. Just like a child. It works. Look at this. So we got a 13 speed Kenworth truck, manual transmission, obviously. Uh, also in the back, you can't see, but we have a sleeper. So I'm gonna hop back here and take a nap. Sounds good. All right, we'll see you guys later. I'm gonna take a nap. I'm here with the man behind the Maggie <laughs> Farm Show, at least the man behind. 560 came one who's putting on the farm show. So what's your name again? My, my name's Dan Manella, and I'm with Cherry Creek Media. One of our radio stations in Great Falls is KMON AM, and that is, uh, that is the Maggie Show sponsor. The originator of the Maggie Show is KMON, and I'm here just uh, trying to make sure I don't mess it up. <laughs> well, huh. seems like everything's been going really well today. Lots of awesome vendors. Um, and I thank you very much for having us out as well so that we can yeah. kind of get some coverage of agriculture today. We're kind of spreading the message that a lot of this big fancy equipment here that we see at the show isn't necessarily tied to corporate farming. Like there's a lot of negative connotations out there when it comes to larger scale farming, unfortunately. Sure. We want to counter that because pretty much everybody here is representing family farms. The ones that are farming, the ones that are interested in agriculture are the ones that come to the show. And, and it's uh, it's quite an amazing show. Now 
thank you guys for watching. If you want us to do more of this at some other events as well, although we definitely love this one, <laughs> let me know in the comments. Be sure to subscribe as well. I'm Riley, that's Brendan behind the camera. Thank you guys for watching.